is my, this is my, this is my day. I'm ready to take it on, come what may. Oh, hey YouTube. So today we're going to do the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S6 digital phone. And so here's the plan. I plan to use these phones, the Galaxy line of phones for vlogging cameras. And my theory is that I can take advantage of the huge processing power, the computing power, and the 16 meg megapixel camera to make better videos. So what I want to do is to use three Samsung Galaxy S6 phones to get multiple viewing angles, and I'm going to use them on my daily vlogs because they're easy to carry, they're light, they're portable, and they're inconspicuous. So I can go into a store, for example, and sort of film incognito, incognito or on the cover. And so that's the plan. So I ordered this phone, the Samsung Galaxy S6, from a, store, a shop in Hong Kong. Uh, back in December, I ordered it on, I actually purchased it on December 18th and it arrived today on January 19th. So it took about a month, a little more than a month, 31 days, 32 days to get here. And I want to give you a review of the phone. I want to give you a 30 day, 60 day, 90 day review. I plan to purchase about three or four of them and I will explain that I want to use them uh, to create multiple viewing angles in my uh, vlogs, my daily vlogs. So without further ado, let me present to you the refurbished Samsung Galaxy S6. Okay guys, so this is the package in which uh, the Samsung Galaxy S6 arrived. from Hong Kong and it says the value is $38 US. Uh, I actually got it through customs where they valued it at $100 US. So I actually paid $325 for it, $325 US dollars for it and I paid, bought it on eBay paying with uh, my PayPal account. And so when it arrived in Guyana, the customs officials valued it at $100 US and charged me 7,800 Guyana dollars in GT and taxes. That works out to be a little more than 35 US dollars, about $40 US. And so I ended up paying in total about 365 US dollars. So one of the reasons for getting this phone is of course because it's cheap and because I don't really want to use it as a phone, I want to use it as a vlogging camera and therefore I don't really need the newest version of this. I don't need the Galaxy S7 or the S7 Edge or the new S8. What I need is the 32GB for storing videos and I need the 16 megapixel camera, the Snapdragon processor and all the other good features of this Samsung Galaxy S6. So this is the box it comes in. It is in fact a refurbished phone. Okay, so it's a refurbished product, factory refurbished. And this is what it looks like. Okay, this is the phone comes stored and packaged almost like new right it doesn't even look as if it's refurbished okay so it says a Samsung Galaxy S6 and so the first thing I'm gonna do is take that phone out and then I'll take out the accessories USB charger charger cable Uh, air, uh, earphones and the ear with an earphone jack and the pin for the the pin for the SIM card and the phone. All right, so let's open it. It's 
it's easier to open the than the shrink wrap packages that everybody seems to use these days. This is the new. In fact, it appears to be new. It's a refurbished Samsung Galaxy S6. And here it comes with the volume rockers on the left edge and the power button on the right edge. I'm going to power it up. Okay, so it's Samsung Galaxy S6 powered by Android. So one of the good things about this phone, in fact, this is my first uh, S6. Of course, I'm about a year late because the S7 and the S7 Edge are in fact the new, um, the latest versions. So after reviewing this S6 next to the S6 Edge, S7 Edge, I thought the S6 was a better uh, bargain and a better deal for me because I like the feel and I like the size of the screen. So we're going to set it up. Okay, we're still signing in. Uh, let's uh, charge it up in the meantime. Make sure that we don't run out of power because we're down to about 33% right now. Yep, power is coming. Okay, so let's power up. Okay, so I'm going to set this up by simply downloading my Samsung account backup data. Okay, so my Samsung Galaxy S6 is fully set up. Here is my back facing camera, 16 megapixel front facing camera. So I plan to use this for vlogging. I plan to use three or four of them, set them up on uh, tripods and so that I can capture multiple view viewing angles. I'm going to do a review on, on it at 30 days because initially I'm going to use it as my daily driver and uh, probably purchase two or three more of these as uh, time goes by and add them to my stock of vlogging cameras. And uh, we'll proceed. So if you like this kind of video and you want to see more of uh, this kind of content from me down here in Guyana, Click like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Later!